Welcome to Jamie Reviews, I am Jameson Michael and today we're here to review a shoe that we tried a while back but wasn't going to review but then I thought, hey, why not? So here we are, and by we, I mean that today we have the CEO, the President and the Commander in Chief of the prestigious Mary Beth Run Club. Plus she happens to be someone who runs on stability shoes, so having a second opinion never hurts. So let's get right into the topic of discussion. The Brooks Ravenna falls into that lightweight option for those who like to have more guidance and stability in their shoes when adding on the extra miles, without having to carry a lot of extra shoe. And this is the 10th edition of the shoe, and somehow we never reviewed any of them. So well, we gotta give the people what they want. This is our review of the Brooks Ravenna 10. So the upper has an engineered mesh that we found to contain the foot in very well. The mesh design is secure enough to not need a bunch of overlays, and the shoe itself felt great on foot. It was breathable, the fit was snug throughout the midfoot, and it has about an average size toe box. Both of us were able to fit in our normal shoe size with no problem. Visually, the shoe seems pretty bare bones, well for a stability shoe, which is a nice change. And earlier in the year, I reviewed the Brooks Launch 6, and the way that that shoe fit is almost the same as this shoe, and the similarities of that shoe continues throughout the midsole of the shoe. You have a DNA midsole that for me is the definition of balance. It is cushioned throughout the midfoot, but still firm enough to gain some speed through your stride. Not much to complain about, but with that said, that leaves not much to be impressed about either. If you like a bouncy ride, this really isn't it. If you like a plush ride, I wouldn't say that it's that either. It's a safe bet if you want a shoe that can do most things. Short distance, long distance, tempos, it's kind of like vanilla ice cream. No one will complain about the flavor, but I doubt anyone will be overly impressed by it either. It's a good all around standard feel. I did find it to be a bit stiffer in the heel, but Lauren found it to feel a bit softer when comparing the shoe to the previous Ravenna 9. And since she is a faster jogger, we'll just go with that. The main story of this shoe is the addition of guide rails. No longer is there a stiff medial posting under your arch. The idea is that the guide rails on both the medial and the lateral side of the shoe will provide more guidance in the shoe for those that need it. The key difference from last year's shoe is that the guide rail system should feel less invasive for those who don't necessarily need that extra stability. The idea is like having side bumpers on a bowling alley. If you happen to need an adjustment to stay aligned, it will correct for it. Otherwise, it won't really affect you. And I would say that this is true for the most part. Now, I could feel the guide rails against my foot through the shoe. Now, it wasn't a bad feeling, it's just that I could tell that they were there. When running, I was actually able to run normal without any typical knee issues that I get when running in some stability shoes. But I prefer to just not have the guide rails. It was a bit distracting when compared to the Brooks Launch 6. Lauren thought the guide rail system was legit and worked for her just as well as the old system and made the shoe feel a bit more comfortable throughout. The outsole is pretty much a copy and paste from the Brooks Launch 6, which I would say is a good thing. You have rubber throughout the shoe, but still maintains a slight flex to it. Traction was decent on most terrains, and unless you're running on something really specific, like a trail, we think you'll be fine on most surfaces. So the Ravenna 10 is one of the few lighter weight stability options out there. We think it's an easy choice for those who like a bit of stability without the clunkiness of some other shoes out there. If the Brooks Adrenaline feels like too much shoe, then this will be the way to go, especially if you need a more versatile option. Everything from most training to maybe even racing if you want a shoe that can get you through a longer road race. And the fact that both Lauren and I both can run in this shoe is good. There's not much to say. It's a simple shoe with a touch of stability that isn't super amazing, but it gets the job done. Well done. Okay. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. All right. So we're here with Lauren. She is the CEO, the executive. She is, what's the other acronyms of like important people? President. President, that's not an acronym. <laughs> we just reviewed the Ravenna 10. Now, I don't usually run in the Ravenna, as I said in the review, but this one was different. And I know the whole thing nowadays is the guide rails, the guide rails. <laughs> How do you feel about the guide rails? You're someone who runs the stability shoes. Yeah. So, did you feel a major difference between the old one and this one? Um, honestly, I did. And that's mostly because I really overpronate in only one of my feet. And so, the guide rails helped a lot with the foot that actually needed it. 
and I didn't have that sensation of constantly having that pressure on the foot that doesn't necessarily pronate. That's weird. Yeah, it's because I sprained my ankle though, so that foot is now all jacked up. That's unfortunate, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> I'm retired, so I don't deal with that kind of problem. <laughs> but yeah, I say for someone who doesn't wear stability shoes, typically, I didn't feel like I could not run in the shoe. It felt fine. Uh -huh. It kind of felt like a launch, um, launch six. Yeah. Or, you know, six. Feel like that. Um, and I know that the Brooks people told us it's the same shoe, just guide rails on it, of uh, the launch. And I don't know if I believe it completely. I felt it was a little firmer in the heel for some, whatever reason. I know the guide rails on the side, but it felt firmer in the heel. Uh, maybe it's just me. I don't know. Maybe I had a bad shoe, a bad apple. I don't like apples, but I had a bad one. So, other than that, the shoe was like the Launch 6. So, if you see my Launch 6 review, it's that with guide rails. Um, anything you want to add? Anything you didn't like about it? Um, no, I honestly loved this shoe. Um, I will say, though, from my experience, it was a little bit softer in the heel. Um, so I didn't feel that firmness. That so you're you saying said. I had a bad apple. I think you had a bad apple. Well, that's why you're here. You have two different opinions <laughs> of the same shoe. Because I'm not always right. I am, but like, <laughs> I'm not always right. But yeah, so would you say if like the Launch 10 that we could agree upon? Yeah, I think so. And Launch 10. Launch, launch 10. <laughs> Ravenna 10. <laughs> this is the Ravenna 10. <laughs> launch 6. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I'm going to cut that out. Probably yeah, probably bloopers. <laughs> All right. <laughs> but with that said, please subscribe to the channel. Follow the Mary Beth Arnold Run Club. Uh, the CEO, the president, and every other acronym. She's all that. And can they follow you on Instagram? Yeah, go for it. What's your Instagram name? It's Lauren Reynolds. That's it. Just my name. That's it? Yep. But Do my name's spelled funny, so make sure you look at his I'll, link. Yeah, I'll put it down somewhere below. <laughs> Am I, like, snotting here? Is it, like, is it, wait? A little bit, oh but God. it might be sweat also. It's sweat, it's not sweat. <laughs> All right. Well, with that said, guys, be sure to stay in school. Don't do drugs. If you can, keep it tight. That was good. Yeah. Okay. All right, so what we'll do is have you run out towards this little driveway, and then we'll make a, is there an exit out this way? We'll go, we'll do a loop this way. I hope you're I don't, yeah, I am. You were? Oh, look at you were recording? I think so. Yes! I was doing a bunch of weird shit. Oh, shit. Straight this way. Where am I going? Straight down, and then we'll make a left turn. All right, never ready. All right. Oh. That's so hard. 